cuties welcome back to my channel Ashley here so today we are going to be reviewing the new hourglass ambient soft glow foundation this is her I was able to snag her in the shade 14.5 14.5 is described as deep with neutral undertone this is the packaging super cute it looks like the regular hourglass packaging and of course you know it comes with a pump Foundations that get sold to you without a pump should be a scam if they're not drugstore. So this foundation is vegan, it has a natural finish, it has a liquid formula, long wearing, medium coverage, and cruelty free. So this is supposed to be a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. It has light diffusing pigments, they deliver a natural soft focus finish and help to protect against blue light, uh, blurring spheres which minimize the look of imperfections, fine lines and wrinkles, and white tea extract, vitamin E, and antioxidant. So I just need to prime. So I was able to get a sample of the Hourglass Veil primer now I don't think I'm purchasing it honey because it is expensive okay so we just got a sample so I figured why not test it out oh this feels very soft I, well I think I picked up too much but that's fine we're gonna cover this and wow this feels very lightweight I was really surprised with this primer So I'm just going to put this on and then let this dry down for a bit. And then get to work. Now that I primed off camera, I'm just going to add a little of my Laura Mercier Medium Deep Translucent Powder just to set my primer. I haven't done this in so long and I don't know why I stopped. Just to reinforce and lock that in. Now that that's done, I'm just going to go with my Lancome All Over Concealer and just add a little bit of correction around my mouth and under my under eyes. Alrighty, so now that that's done, we can go on with the foundation. So you already know I'm a full coverage girl, so I'm going to go in with at least three pumps. There's no scent. It smells pretty much like foundation. Usually by now, the foundation is kind of seeping to my brush, but it's still sitting on the top. So I don't know. It really is looking like medium coverage. Now let's go in for the kill. So that first swipe looks really oh wow okay this coverage is looking good I am really surprised by hourglass I usually feel like they give soft glow like a soft glam so I'm very surprised by this coverage but this looks good. This is a coverage. <laughs> I'm speechless. This is really giving medium to full coverage, but it looks gorgeous. I am using one of the glitter eyeshadows on my eye today. Absolutely love it. And I didn't use my NYX Glitter Glue Primer just straight out of the container. So it looks really pretty. But I am just surprised by this. Like, this foundation looks really good. Okay, perfect. So now I just want to add some of my concealers on top. So I'm just going to press in that foundation with my damp beauty blender just to push that into the skin. And now I'm going to go with my Kosas Creamy and Brightening Concealer in shade 8.10. Zero. 
Next, I'm going to go with my Soul Body Bronzing Balm in Deep to contour. Alrighty, so now I'm going to blend out that concealer. See what it looks like blended out on top. That looks gorgeous. It's gonna add a little bit more. Alrighty, beauty. So this is the concealer and my cream contour blended out. Don't worry if the cream contour is super soft. That's fine. I'm going in with some bronzer, but this looks gorgeous. I, and this foundation dries very quickly, so you have to work with it fast. Uh, I don't know if it's because I have my fan, if that's helping dry down quickly, but I would say it's set pretty quickly. So this is it. I'm going to set the rest of my face off camera with my powders, and then I'll be back. Um, okay, Hourglass, we gotta talk because this foundation looks absolutely stunning. Like, I, I cannot formulate the words for how bomb this looks. Oh my, do, do y'all see this? Like, I need you guys to tap in this, like, with all the rest of my powders and everything on top. This looks absolutely gorgeous. I am really surprised. It's already been an hour. Um, I did set it with my Max Fix Plus. The Stay Over, this is a long lasting setting spray. If you don't have this, you need to get it. But this foundation looks absolutely gorgeous. So as I said, it's been an hour. So I kind of want to come back in another two hours just to show you guys what it'll look like. I'm waiting for these two hours to pass in because this might be the new bulletproof, you know summer foundation because yes i do still wear foundation in the summertime no i don't want to wear skin tint okay i want to be beat to the gods 24 7. so beauties i'll pop back in in another two hours just to show you all what it looks like three hours later Alrighty, beauties so we are back so it has been three hours and honey this might be my new summer foundation because this face did not move okay i was outside cooked yes in three hours you know i put it down in the kitchen but it has not gone anywhere okay it looks exactly like how i left three hours ago so with that being said this foundation retails for 58 dollars i did use my 500 points to get ten dollars off it felt like less of a blow <laughs> it does say that it has a 16 hour wear so let's put it to the transfer proof test because you know i only swear by one that's transfer proof this is clean it feels kind of like a washcloth so we are going to see just tapping it all over to see if it picks up anything okay so just a smidge it picks up a smidge but not that much and this is after three hours so I would say it's kind of close to almost transfer proof but it still moves but I will say that this foundation honey looks immaculate okay so beauties on a scale of one to five lipsticks y'all should already know I'm about to give this foundation a five okay I am very surprised by hourglass today we need to talk because how y'all just gonna pop up with a foundation like this I, like come on now this is really like the year of complexion and cream bronzer really focusing on the base so i'm so happy that i picked this up it looks bomb okay beauties if you're new here thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe my ogs as always thank you for the continued support so beauties if you really enjoyed this review definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below let me know your thoughts on today's look and if you will be picking up this foundation so as always beauties thanks so much for tuning in until next time